Printing the square root of 4 plus some number doesn't seem so useful to us right now, but what's really useful about this is we can do uh, the same thing with any variable data. So here's a little function that's going to take as its, as its um, parameters, as its um, arguments, as its data that it works with. Those are two names that are used in dealing with functions um, to describe the, the data that's passed to the function. So we're going to take a, a variable that we're going to call file name. We come up with our own word, our own variable name to refer to that data. And in the function, it's going to use that file name. Um, so in this case, um, we're going to do a view layout, a GUI window. We're going to put an image in it. And we're going to load whatever file name was passed to the function. Copy that. Now, the word display will do those things. It will display an image that we give it. Um, here's an example. We're going to assign a um, bit of image data to this thing called image1, this word called, called image1. Here's another little converter. Um, it's going to take a file that we request from the user, um, and it's going to convert that to a a file type of data so that we get something that Rebel understands as um, um, a file type. And uh, we go look for an image. open. Uh, I have one picked out, but oh, you'll see in this case also, uh, there's a bit of a, a note that describes what we're doing. Anything after a semicolon, Rebel will just ignore. So if you put um, some notes in your program, which is really important when you're um, when you're writing programs, you want to remember things that you've that you've done in the program, so you can go back later and edit it. Or if someone else needs to work with your program, um, they can go back and edit it. And we're going to use this display function that we created above um, and display that image that we just selected from the hard drive. Let's put that into the uh, into the GUI. And then there was another, another little comment here to describe what we were doing in the code. And Rebel just totally ignores that. You can put comments at, on any line, and it will uh, ignore those things completely. It's really important. You'll see lots of um, comments in, in uh, code that you get online. And it's really helpful to understand what's going on. There's that same image we've seen a few times. It displayed the... Uh, um, data that it downloads from that, that website. And it knows to, down, or to download that because in the function definition we use the word load. So it does, my little function does all that stuff for us. Here's an, another example. We're creating a function called open website and that function is going to take one parameter, which we're going to call a name of website, and then it's going to browse the uh, website that's that it's been given. All right, so I'm gonna copy all this. It's going to happen in the next little part here. Um, is uh, website one is going to be assigned some um, info that we uh, that we uh, get from the user using request text. Website two is going to be uh, assigned to some more data that we get from the user. Copy and paste that. And all of the info after the semicolons is ignored. And let's get a URL. Type in a 
rebel.com. And we uh, use the open function or open website function. It will open that website for us in the browser. And while the browser opens up, and we've got the rebel website. can do just about anything we want with functions. There's a little more complex um, function using several different function definitions. Um, it creates a display website function which just does three things. Does the three things in this block. Um, the open website which we just did and then we get uh, the website URL from uh, the user and then we do that open website function so basically this just takes all of the things that we just did puts it in one big function which we call display website and it does those three things so that little function every time you run it, every time we type it in because it has the word does we'll just do those things the URL, the website where this tutorial is hosted is musiclessons.com. Musiclessons.com. And it goes there automatically. Getting used to the above syntax and way of thinking is one of the most important parts of learning how to program in Rebel and in other languages. Um, functions allow you to assign a useful and easy to remember word um, to a bit of code that you may want to reuse again and again um, in your programs. In Rebel, it's really easy. All you need to do is remember to use the colon to assign a word, a set of actions, and then you can use either the word do to redo that, that set of actions later, the word does to automatically execute those, um, those actions, or uh, the word func to create a function that uses um, some data that will be assigned to it during the execution of that function.